Good sir, I see that you have some amazing looking diamond tools there. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could trim them out to customize them and look absolutely amazing? Then have we got the data pack for you! Hello again, Skunk Monkey here. Today in our data pack showcase, what do we have? Well, you know, Minecraft did an awesome thing in bringing us trims for our armor. And I think you can look absolutely fantastic with those armor trims, you know, making your armor just pop a little bit more. But uh, they kind of missed out on a really big idea. And that's what this data pack fixes. It is Tool Trims by Joe Fly. And Tool Trims, well, I mean, tools. It adds trims to tools. It's, it's very self-explanatory. And... It's not just tools, but it's also weapons. So uh, let's, let's just go first take a look. First take a look. So first off, the thing that you're going to need is that little box right back there. That's the, the tool smith, uh, smithing table? I don't remember what it's called. But basically, you just need four planks and then a couple of copper ingots. So we'll grab an extra one. And then in your crafting table, you just put them in as shown on that board there to my left. And out pops tool smithing table. There we go. That's what you need. You pop that down right there. And then you can add trims to your tools, as you can see back there. Now, how many trims are there? There are four trims and four different places to find them. You have the frost trim, which you can find in igloo, 40% chance in each chest. The charge trim, which uh, you can find in an ancient city, 5% chance in each chest. Track tr track trim well that's uh that's not hard to say at all tracks trim which can be found in a pillager outpost 37.5 percent chance in each chest and then the linear trim which can be found in the trail ruins and you can find that 8.3 percent of the time in well you don't find that in chests though do you? you you find that in uh do you find that in the the gravel right i would think so Maybe it's in chess. I don't know. I, I, I anyway. uh, But if you want to duplicate them, you can do that as well. You will need that uh, little table over there as is normal. You'll need snow for the frost, cobble deep slate for the charge, cobble for the tracks, and then terracotta for the linear. And you may be wondering what types of uh, tools and weapons you can do well basically it's everything it really is basically everything and you can put the normal stuff on that you can with normal trims so you can add diamond redstone amethyst copper quartz lapis uh gold iron all the normal stuff i probably missed a couple in there but all the normal things and it's a really simple process it's a little bit quicker than you know you would have normally because this thing makes it automatic same thing with the duplication so let's just say you want to duplicate this smithing template oh let's go grab our snow as well and then you're going to need diamonds you're going to need seven diamonds as is normal but you can't craft them instead you pop it in here you'll pop your template in not your template your your item so snow block here and then we go one two three and if you see there it says seven that's really helpful one two three that's not how you do that three four five six and as soon as you put the last one in bam it duplicates it automatically uh which is unfortunately the one downside to this data pack is that you don't get to see what your tool is going to look like ahead of time so for instance with the bow if we go and grab ourselves a bow and let's say we want to put some redstone on there if we throw in the frost one and then we put this in here and we put this here, bam, it automatically makes it. Bam. You, you don't get a chance to view it before you actually get the item. So obviously, since we just did frost, uh, this one right here does the frost. This one, and it does say here, is the charge. This one is the tracks. That's already the one that we had. And this one is the linear. And as you can see, there are a bunch of different unique ways that they're put on each tool and each weapon. Uh, 
Uh, this one is the charge, I believe. Yeah, charge tool. It really just coats the entire thing with it. This is netherite, so you can still see it on the handle with the rest of it. Uh, this is a diamond one that got the frost, which I really like that. That's, that's a really cool look. I think uh, netherite might look better with it. But as you can see, there are a ton of different customization. You've got, I think this is copper on iron and iron on diamond, diamond on netherite, gold on diamond. Yeah, there's so many. So there we have our swords, picks, bows, shovels, hoes, crossbows, axes. Yeah, I'm sure I probably missed something in here. I tried tridents, tridents don't work, unfortunately. It would be kind of cool if you had tridents but uh, basically anything that you can imagine. And I think this is just really cool because the whole idea of trims is personalizing your stuff. That your diamonds don't look like somebody else's diamonds. Your armor doesn't look like somebody else's. Everyone's gonna get to diamond. Everyone's gonna get to netherite. But you don't wanna look all the same. And the same goes with your tools. I think it'd be really cool to have your tools look completely, you know, customized for what you want them to look like. And, you know, this one just adds a little bit on the handle. This one adds it to the handle and to the little tie around thing. Ah, just really, really cool. Awesome data pack. I think this thing is great. Uh, as, as you could possibly imagine, you are going to need a resource pack with this. This won't look right if you don't. So you need that. Uh, but other than that, it's a cool data pack. It isn't huge, but it adds some really awesome things. I highly recommend it. I think it should be in like any world because I mean it doesn't hurt anything just you can have your stuff normally just you can make yourself a little bit cooler which is awesome so if you guys want to try out this day pack for yourself a link to the moderate page is down in the description go check it out download it play around with it and if you guys enjoyed today's video please like consider subscribing turn on those notifications you can follow me on twitter you can join my discord channel i'll see you guys in the next data pack showcase until next time